So what does Islam say about interpretation of the Quran given by someone who doesn't have a mastery of the Arabic language? What's the ruling on that? Is it allowed? Now one of the great scholars of Islam, Imam As-Siyuti, rahimahullah, mentions 15 characteristics that are required before one is at a stage of being able to interpret the Quran. Now in this video, I'm just going to mention a few of these points, but it will become quite clear how much knowledge uh, one needs to have before one can actually interpret the Quran. So the first one, obviously, is a mastery of the Arabic language. Now this is something that people might not understand completely because they don't know how vast the Arabic language is. It's It talks about mastering the Arabic language as a whole, all the sciences of Arabic. And I've listed the main ones up there. Now obviously when I say master the Arabic language, I don't mean that you've completed a book or two in Arabic grammar. I'm talking about spending a lifetime learning the language. Next we have the sciences of the Quran, which include, and they're not all of them, but they include the occasion of revelation, asbab and nuzul, which refers to why a verse or a particular surah was sent down. The abrogated and abrogating, and nasikh wa mansukh, um, and obviously the, the sequence of verse revelation. Third one, knowledge of hadith, which is the prophetic sayings of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and how they actually relate to understanding the Quran. So part of the understanding of the Quran is understanding the hadith, because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was part of this interpretation of the Quran. Next we have knowledge of Islamic law and the principles of deriving Islamic law. However, having said that, there's one important point to note, is that these scholars were following other scholars when it came to Islamic jurisprudence. So for example, we have scholars like Ibn Kathir, Imam al-Siyuti, Imam al-Qurtubi, uh, Abu Hayyan, and the list can go on and on and on. These were Mufassirin, but they actually followed one of these four schools of of the four famous Islamic jurists. So they were not at a stage to derive religious rulings from the Quran or from the Hadith. Now, we have today non-Muslims who have very little, very superficial knowledge of, of Arabic, who probably can't even speak Arabic. You know, if I if you said something to them, they wouldn't be able to understand what you're saying. You have this sort of people that are coming and interpreting the Quran. Now, would you ever do that, for example, if your life was on the line? If you're sick, you're going to go to a doctor. And if he tells you, well, you need this medication, or you need to do this surgery, and he's a reliable doctor, then you're going to follow him. You're going to, instead of going to a doctor, just pick up a book of medicine and try to understand what it says, and then prescribe medicine for yourself. You'd think this person was crazy. I'm, I'm reaching out to those who actually might not be aware of this point, not to interpret the Quran yourself and to rely on scholars.